Hello Mountain View kids and families. This is Mrs. Martha coming to you with this week's Sunday School video. This video is for October 11th, 2020. All right. Um, for the month of October and November, we're going to be learning about Abraham's family um, in our curriculum. Um, so our Bible verse for the uh, month of October is Genesis 12:3. And it says, all the families of earth will be blessed because of you. And that is Genesis 12, 3. And this is the promise that God made to Abraham. We talked about that in last week's video. And God made what we call a covenant or an agreement um, with Abraham. And he promised him that everybody on earth will be blessed because of Abraham's faithfulness. And we saw how he did show that because through Abraham's family, Jesus came. And of course, everybody on earth is blessed because of Jesus. For my curriculum, I am using the Deep Blue Kids One Room Sunday School by Abington Press. And that's what I'm using for my Sunday School materials and for my weekly downloads. All right. So we, last week, we started talking about Abraham. And so we saw that first God appeared to Abraham and he told him that he was going to make this agreement to him that he was going to bless him and then abraham with his wife sarai and his not, uh, nephew lot uh, traveled um, to what we call canaan the promised land and when abraham got there he built an altar to god to worship god and then in this picture, we see um, Abraham. He was actually called Abram at the beginning of his story. Uh, his wife Sarai and Lot are traveling again. And they ended up in Egypt. You could see the pyramids there. And then God did promise Abraham that he would have as many descendants as there are stars in the sky. So you can imagine how many that is. So our story today starts in the book of Genesis, chapter 13, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 12. I'm reading out of the International Children's Version, which is the version that's a little easier for kids to understand. So Genesis chapter 13. So Abram, his wife, and Lot left Egypt. They took everything they owned and traveled to southern Canaan. Abram was very rich in cattle, silver, and gold. He left southern Canaan and went back to Bethel. And that's the place where he built that altar the first time. He went where he had camped before between Bethel and Ai. It was the place where Abram had built an altar before. So he worshiped the Lord there. During this time, Lot was traveling with Abram. Lot also had many sheep, cattle, and tents. Abram and Lot had so many animals that the land could not support, support both of them together. Abram's herders and Lot's herders began to argue. The Canaanites and the Perizzites were living in the land at this time. And so here's a picture of uh, Abram and Lot. It looks like they're arguing a little bit there. And it's because they had so many animals. Now, you know, animals need, they need grass to eat and they need water to drink. And if you have too many animals on the land, then they don't have enough food or water for them. And so there was just too many animals and that caused everyone to start arguing. So Abram said to Lot, there should be no arguing between you and me. Your herders and mine should not argue either. We are brothers. We should separate. The whole land is there in front of you. If you go to the left, I will go to the right. If you go to the right, I will go to the left. Lot looked all around and saw the whole Jordan Valley. He saw that there was much water there. It was like the Lord's garden, like the land of Egypt, in the direction of Zoar. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose to move east and live in the Jordan Valley. In this way, Abram and Lot separated. So here's a picture of Lot looking out over that Jordan Valley, and he sees that nice river there and all that green land, and he thought that would be a great place to live. Abram lived in the land of Canaan, but Lot lived among the cities in the Jordan Valley. He moved very near to Sodom. All right, so you notice in that story, so while they were arguing, 
Abram is the one who came up with the solution. He said, we need to separate. And he showed that he was um, being a good guy because he let Lot choose which way to go. Abram didn't say, I'm older and I'm going to tell you where to go. He said, you get to pick. If you want to go left, I'll go right. If you go right, I'll go left. And so Lot looked over the land of Canaan and he chose. So I, I, that was an amazing thing because Abram could have picked what he would have thought would be the best land for himself. He didn't do that. He let Lot pick and then he went in the other direction, um, which might not have seemed like the best choice. Uh, we know later that uh, Abraham did make the better choice in the end, but he came up with a solution to his problem there. Um, so Abram showed that he was a peacemaker. He didn't want there to be arguing. He said, we're brothers, we're family, and we should not be arguing. And so uh, they, he came up with a solution to separate them all. And just like that, God wants us to work together and solve our problems and be peacemakers. So when we find ourselves arguing with somebody, we, maybe we need to think about what's really causing our problem. Is it because we're upset about something or is there something else that's really causing the problem? Like when Abram and Lot were arguing, they weren't just arguing, they, were, they had to think that really they were arguing because the land wasn't big enough for both of them and that was really the root of their problem. Um, that was making them annoyed with each other. So we need to think too, when we get upset with somebody, is there some other problem that's really the problem that is causing the difficulty? And then we can work to find a solution for that. So we can trust God to guide us and give us wisdom and show us um, how he wants us to solve our problems. We also need to remember that the ultimate peacemaker is Jesus, and that is Abram's descendant. He came from Abraham's family many years later. Um, and Jesus came to bring peace between us, ourselves and other people as well as between ourselves and God. Um, so just like Abram and Jesus are peacemakers and we should try to find ways to live in peace with our friends and relatives and um, acquaintances as well. All right. Now for our craft this week, we have two things that you can do. First, we have something that's called a tangram. I think we've done these before. So you have this picture here. You cut out first a square, and then you cut along all of these lines, and then you will get all of these pieces once you've cut them all out, all these different shapes. I'm dropping them there. Um, all of these different shapes. And then you can put them together in different ways, and there's instructions down here. Um, so this is the idea of this is that you're supposed to work as a team so you would need to make two copies of this page because you'll need two sets of these to complete all of the shapes but if you don't have a brother or sister or somebody to do it with you could just make two shapes or two copies yourself and make the shapes all by yourself but it's fun to work also as a team so it tells you some things to do you can make a triangle make a pentagon that's a five-sided shape you can make an eight-piece triangle you can make a hexagon that's a six-sided shape and is there a shape that you can just create on your own? So tangrams are kind of fun. We can make them in different ways. You can make animals and different shapes out of those. So you can kind of have fun with that. And the other thing we have is we have a little woolly sheep here that you can cut out. And then if you have cotton balls, you can glue on cotton balls on him. Or if you have some yarn, you can actually kind of wrap it around him. And I've cut him out and I colored him, I made him a little black face sheep. So you've got his little black feet and his little black face and his ear. And then again, you can either glue cotton on him if you want, or you can just wrap yarn. You can kind of go around his body um, and make give him um, some yarn wool that way. Or you can just cut him out and color him. I think he's pretty cute. So uh, if you just want a little sheep, and that's to remind us about the sheep that Abram and Lot had that they kind of argued over, but how uh, we also can um, find a solution to our problems and work together with others to solve our problems. All right, well, that was our lesson today, not very long today, and I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you that you um, come and you want us to um, be peacemakers, Lord. When there's problems and difficulties, Lord, help us to find solutions so that we can get along with our friends and our family. And we trust that you will guide us in our solutions and help us to be the person who comes up with ideas um, so that there is peace because you are peace, Lord, and you want us to live in peace. 
We thank you for this lesson today, and we just pray that you will bless each of these children watching this video. In your name I pray, amen. All right, so remember you can always email me at kids at mvucc.org if you would like to get my weekly downloads. If you would like to contact me in any way, um, have a question, um, feel free to email me. And also, don't forget you can always like, subscribe, and share our Mountain View Kids Fontana YouTube videos. So thank you very much for watching my video. Have a great week. Bye-bye.